What is up gamers? Welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing well and thank you so much for joining me. Today I have another balance patch for you guys that I want to go over and give you my thoughts and opinions on it. Uh, it looks like they're making quite a lot of changes here actually so I think this is going to be pretty cool. And if you'd like to check this out for yourself I'll leave a uh, link uh, to this post in the uh, description down below. Uh, so please feel free to check this out and uh, give them your feedback if you'd like. And also, if you enjoy this, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below, and I'd very much appreciate that. And then, if you'd be interested in getting up to speed on all their other previous uh, posts that they've done, I've made a video for most of them, and I'll leave a link to the playlist that I created for those right up here. So, feel free to check that out as well. And anyways, let's uh, dive into this balance patch here. And so, this is the balance update for this Friday, uh, November 15th. And so, they say the Knight and Crossbow will be available to all players to play with. So I think that's very nice that they're doing this uh, for everybody. Um, they had the knight and crossbow locked behind the uh, battle pass, and they were kind of testing out their uh, battle pass system. They were calling it the war path, um, and they're testing the uh, progression and everything of that. Uh, many people, you know, were saying that they thought it was too slow, um, you know, and so I'm glad they're uh, changing this and just unlocking it. And it sounds like uh, they'll be, you know, changing this going forward as well. So. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be very happy to hear that. And then first up we have the Knight. We wanted to try a slight increase in effectiveness. Tier 1 units are always a bit tricky, so we'd like to try this increase and see where it goes. Health increase from 2000 to 2200. Uh, that sounds like a pretty good little chunk of health there that they're adding to it. Um, so I think that'll be pretty nice. I definitely think the Knight was a bit... Uh, underwhelming. I, I didn't really like using it too much to be honest. Um, I couldn't find uh, much success with it. It seemed like it was much better late game, uh, but it just seemed too inefficient uh, early and mid game for me. So I'm glad they're giving it this little buff here. Uh, I hope this is enough, the right amount. Um, 200 uh, can add up pretty quick over time once you mass these up, uh, making them pretty beefy and chunky. Um, but then again, you know, keep in mind, we don't have a lot of context for all these different numbers and whatnot. So we don't have all the stats available for us uh, yet. But I think this is a good uh, change and moving it in the right direction. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see if that's enough. And next we have the Gargantua. We wanted to try a general increase in effectiveness and an increase in effectiveness against air units in general. They will still get countered by anti-big units. Damage increase from 400 to 500. Deals same damage versus both ground and air units now. Um, so I'm assuming this is their... Well, actually, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, 400 to 500 seems like a pretty good amount. Um, pretty big increase. Um, I don't I don't know if that's their... I'm assuming that's their sh damage per shot. Um, but I don't know what their DPS is. And I don't know what their attack speed is. So that, that's what I mean by we don't you know have all the context yet. Um, I don't know if uh, the stats are up to date for some of the, uh, the websites that were out there. There were a few websites that uh, were kind of uh, data mining the actual uh, numbers for each of these um, units. And so, you know, I think um, 400 to 500 sounds like a good amount. Um, the Gargantua, again, I definitely felt like it was uh, lacking before. And so I think this is going to help it a lot, um, especially since uh, they're, it sounds like they're increasing the damage so that it's both the same uh, versus ground and air now as well. So, um, you know, that should make it more usable and it should make it uh, more competitive as well. Um, but I don't know if it will, you know, quite put it, push it over the edge, you know, to being one of the best units or anything like that. And next we have the Valkyrie. Uh, we wanted to try Valkyries being really end all versus air that needs ground anti-air to counter. Damage multiplier against air units increased from 5.166x to 11x. Uh, and yeah, that sounds fine to me. Um, I actually haven't used the Valkyries this uh, close beta yet. Um, so I don't know exactly how they, how they felt. Um, I haven't personally um, had any issues going up against the Valkyrie. I think this uh, change should be fine. Um, Valkyrie was uh, previously the king of the air, and so this uh, just helps maintain that. So I, I, as long as it's not uh, too strong against uh, ground units, or especially the anti-air ground units, then uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. I like um, I like the Valkyrie being in that role of the King of the Air. Uh, but I think this will be interesting to see how it does up against something like the Cat Bus now. 
Um, I've used the cat bus quite a lot. I don't remember if I've gone up against the Valkyrie yet, um, but the cat bus is definitely uh, very tanky and uh, very difficult uh, for most people to uh, take it down. So I wonder how the Valkyrie would do up against the cat bus. And then we have the uh, Falcon. Due to changes with various uh, changes in all three tiers on how the anti-air units work, there's just a lot more ways to deal with the Falcons now. We wanted to try a general increase in the effectiveness of the Falcons and see where it goes. Health increase from 2,900 to 3,300. That's cool. So I uh, picked up the Falcons like right away um, in this closed beta and I have been very disappointed with the Falcons. Um, they were my one of my favorite units uh, previously and uh, I was just having a lot of trouble getting them to work even against um, tier one anti-air units. And so, you know, I think as they're saying here, um, all the anti-air units, you know, got changed a little bit um, and it just seemed like they were far more effective against the Falcon and the Falcon is supposed to be that one unit, um, that one tier two um, air unit that could kind of fight back against the uh, tier one uh, anti-air units. Um, so I'm glad they're giving that a change. Um, I honestly would prefer just a very slight minor buff to their speed. Um, but you know, maybe that would be, you know, too much. Maybe that, uh, would make it overpowered or something. I don't know. Um, I'm definitely not an expert in that matter, but that's just what I would prefer to see. Uh, but, uh, 3,300, an extra 400 health to each Falcon. <laughs> that's going to, um, add up to quite a lot pretty quick once you mass these up. So um, I think the I think the Falcon's back. I think that's gonna be pretty darn good now. I'm definitely gonna give it another try and uh, see how it goes. And here we got the advanced blink um, because this unit's role is very specific to anti big and it's really bad versus all small, including tier one. We'd like to try pushing their effectiveness versus big even further. Uh, damage multiplier against big units increased from 15x to 20x, uh, and that sounds crazy to me. Um, I've played around with the advanced blink uh, a little bit um, so far and uh, it definitely is very strong against other big units it's uh, a lot of fun to use and especially um, right now it's doing a ton of damage versus um, bases and so I wonder if this actually affects that if the uh, change from 15 to 20 um, affects their damage to bases as well and if that's the case uh, the advanced blinks are going to be doing a ton of damage to the bases and uh, you might want to watch out for any kind of uh, base races uh, with these. I think they uh, already changed it too in the previous patch um, from something like 7x to 15x and now they're going from 15 to 20 so uh, I think that's uh, pretty crazy. Um, I think the advanced blink uh, is okay right now. Um, the problem I'm having with it is uh, there's a lot of people running destroyers and the destroyers are very strong right now so uh, it seems like every time I go advanced blink, the other guy has a whole bunch of destroyers waiting for me. So I think this will be perfectly fine. And uh, my only question is, you know, is this going to make it uh, insanely good at uh, taking down bases too? So that'll definitely be something to keep an eye on. And next we have the Predator. We want to try Predators to be slightly faster moving due to most small air units they're trying to counter are fast in movement speed and they have the air advantage. Movement speed changed from 7.88 to 8.26. Now, I definitely think the Predator needs a bit of help and some buffs. Um, speed is always one of those tricky ones where uh, if you go too much uh, one way or the other on the speed, it can definitely make the difference uh, between a unit being uh, overpowered or uh, useless. And so uh, it's kind of a, a tough line to walk. Uh, but uh, this definitely does not seem like a lot of speed to me, in my opinion. Um, and so I wouldn't really mind seeing them uh, push the speed even further on that, because I think that is a good idea. Um, the A lot of the air units are definitely very fast, and they have the advantage of being able to, you know, basically go off of the map where, you know, the Predator can't really chase them. And so uh, the Predator seems to me to have a very niche use, and so... Um, I haven't really been a fan of the Predator, um, but, you know, I'll have to give this a try to see if this really sways me in that opinion at all. 
And then finally, we have the Scorpion. We'd like to try increasing their effectiveness slightly. Uh, health increase from 1300 to 1350. Uh, I... I used to love the Scorpion. It was my favorite um, unit, core unit, to use in the uh, previous closed beta. Um, and then I tried using it in this one, and I've been having a lot of trouble trying to use it. Um, I've really struggled to make them work well. Um, it seems like they are just kind of struggling against everything they go up against, especially the blinks. Uh, it seems like every time I try the Scorpion, I just go up against you know a ton of different people. They're all using blinks, and uh, they just get kited around by the blinks. So. Uh, the Scorpion, I'd also like to, you know, I'd prefer to see just a tiny increase to the speed for the Scorpion as well. But I'm glad to see they are uh, buffing, giving them a little bit of a buff, a little bit of help. Um, 50 HP definitely does not seem like much. Uh, it will, you know, add up over time once you mass up enough of these. Uh, but I don't think this is going to, uh, you know, make the Scorpions too strong or OP or anything like that. So I wouldn't be worried about that. Anyways, that's going to do it for me for this one. Um, just so you know, uh, I am streaming a lot more now. I'll be trying to stream just about every day, starting at around 4 p.m. Central um, every day. Uh, so if you'd like to stop by and check that out, I'd uh, very much appreciate it and be more than happy to uh, chat with you. And if you're looking for a uh, uh, closed beta test uh, key, I have uh, plenty of keys to give out, so uh, if that's something you're interested in, giving this game a try, uh, definitely reach out to me. Um, the best way to do that will be in uh, through my Discord server. Uh, I'll leave a link to my Discord server down below in the description, and uh, if you'd like to check that out and join the channel, there's a uh, chat there for the uh, closed beta uh, keys, and if you leave a message there and let me know you're interested in one of those, I'll definitely hook you up and I'll get you one of those keys as soon as I can. But anyways, uh, again, I wanna remind you, uh, if you could like and subscribe and leave a comment down below, I'd very much appreciate that. Thank you, of course, as always, for watching, and I'll see you again soon in the next one.